Hey y'all, welcome back to the Mouth of the South Outdoors YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm doing a little bit of an unboxing. I got myself some, uh, some swim baits, which is my favorite way to catch fish, bass. These are all bass baits, but it's my favorite way to catch them. And I got some other stuff too, I'm going to go over too. But... To start it off, the first thing I got, I got this Mega Bass Tackle Box. It's pretty nice. Longer lunch box. It's got two dividers, two big dividers. You do it like this. Let's see, can I get it right? Yep. And they move around. I don't know if you can cut them. I don't think you can. But that's the Mega Bass Longer Lunch Box. Inside, you'll see I've got some baits, and I've already opened these up. I, uh, I've already recorded this video, but the footage got messed up, so we're recording it. In here, I got the terminal tackle I got for these swim baits. I got these. These are the Mega Bass Okashira heads. And this is the Melon IU color in with a three out hook. Yeah, three out hook, one eighth ounce head. I really like that bait keeper. It ought to hold the, uh, it does hold the swim baits up there really good. And it's real thin profile, so when you're using a smaller swim bait, it'll go up there well and stay up there. They come in a three pack, three of these. Next up, some more Okashira heads. And these come in a three pack too. But I've got one of them uh, tied up over there on my rod. So here are the Okashira screw heads. It's a little bladed head jig, 8th ounce Melon IU, 3 out hook. Same as these, just with this little blade. See, can y'all see that well? It's big on the bottom, that smaller piece. And, uh,. I really like these. These things look really good in the water. I was testing them and when in testing with a Kai Tech Swing Impact Fat 2.8 inch. You could reel it real slow and it'd go along the bottom. This blade would just kind of do and just kind of beat along the bottom. It'd go it hit that way and then spin around this way and hit it spin around the other way and hit it, and spin around the other way and hit it. And it just made a very attractive look in the water and a good sound too. It made that bait kind of almost hunt a little bit. And they're pretty sweet. Got They come in a three pack too. And then I got some owner flashy swimmers. So here is the three eye. 3 sixteenths ounce. Um, I got them in the Colorado, Golden Colorado blade. Right here. This is a one aught, eight ounce. But um, I changed out the blade on this one. This is three aught, three sixteenths ounce bladed swim bait unhook. Um, really like these they come with the owner cps spring cps owner centering pin spring which i like it holds the bait up there well won't rip out as easily and i just got this off one of my other baits and put it up there these here are the same thing owner flashy swimmers one eighth ounce one aught with a small owner centering pin spring for those smaller baits like Kitex Swing Impact Fat 2.8 inch or Mega Bass Spark Shad. Something else really, really small like that. But these, these are pretty sweet. It got that Colorado blade and that extended piece, that wire, puts the blade back there almost near the tail of the bait. Which gives it more tail action, makes it look more realistic. 
I also got some of these. Not that. These these are the normal springs that come on a lot of your twist lock things, twist lock baits and such. They suck. They 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 just don't work as well. So I got some of these. I got the medium owner centering pin springs. And uh I replaced all my swim bait hooks with them. I replaced the crappy clip spring like this. Came with one on the Trash Master jig. I put one of these out there. I replaced I replaced right much stuff with it because I feel that that centering pin spring works a lot better and holds the bait better too. I also got this And I got right much Japanese kind of stuff in this order. This here is the Mega Bass Wazi Swimmer. 3 16 ounce IU color. Really neat looking bait. Got really fine weed guard. This is still quite stiff. Ought to just split the uh, split the grass, keep it from going on the hook. I got it tied up because the thing it didn't want to stay right. And uh, this little small blade says Mega Bass. Really nice attention to detail. This little wire, I'm a little bit concerned about it. It's a little stiffer than I'd say it needs to be. I've heard about it breaking off because of it, but I think it's okay. Nice stout hook. Not a massive hook or even really a massive bait. Uh, what's something I could compare it to? I really don't know what to compare it to, but it's pretty small. It will perfectly accommodate one of these a Kitex Swing Impact Fat 2.8 inch or again a 3 inch Spark Shad. And, uh, again, oops, I like this. They got the uh, weight printed on the bottom, and this is. IU color, really nice swim bait. And I love fishing a swim bait. I said swim bait, swim jig. I like swim jigs a lot. My favorite type of jig. Most of the time, what I throw anywhere. Um, another jig. I don't see it here, guys. I bought this. This is Beast Coast. Hustler Hybrid Finesse Jig. I got the quarter ounce in Thunder Shad. Yeesh. And uh, I got a KVD Ocho back there because, like I said, I had already recorded this and went fishing with it. It's a pretty sweet bait. I got the white one because I was thinking... I might go red drum fishing with it some. And uh, this one actually had defect. That weed guards off to the side of where the hook is. Right much. But, uh, Alright, got a couple of them. And to go with that and just on the side, I got some of these. These are the Strike King Baby Rage Bugs, 3 inch pearl color. Got the pearl color for that Hustler Hybrid Finesse Jig. I'm disappointed in these because they don't come in a clamshell, but oh well. I mean, they're still nice baits. Got that coffee scent, really nice action. And um, some of the uses, another use of these I found to be pretty good. If you cut off that first piece of them, make that little flat section, it fits perfectly on any old Ned head. This thing is wonderful for that. In the water, it almost kind of, kind of like glides. There it goes. That little rage appendage is really 
where they swim well. Now, on to the swim baits. And some of these I didn't get in this order. Some of them I'm just showing you. And, uh, y'all probably haven't. But you might have been complaining about me mispronouncing these. These are the K-Tech Fat Swing Impact 2.8 inches. 2.8 inch swim baits. And these things have a serious kick to them both ways they smell horrific but they have a really nice paddle in the water I've never had any of these actually that's surprising but I got the 2.8 inch kind of for small mouth and because it's a really small bait and I love throwing little small finesse baits when I can but uh, this is the electric shad color and uh, it's pretty neat then some more baits I've never had. These are the Mega Bass three inch spark shads. And I've been trying to get my hands on some of these since the hookup tackle posted their video on them. So I ordered me some. And they're just wonderful. It's like a little hand poured bait. This is the royal gill color and three inches again. Just really nice. Got that 3D eye. I'm questioning the durability of it, but maybe it'll stay up there. Kind of funny shaped tail. Kind of almost like a triangle tail. Got a nice V to it. Big flat back. Easy for a weedless rigging. Got little side fins for stability when it's swimming. Overall, pretty sweet bait. I am in love with this thing. Got to tuck that back in its packaging. And again, USA Royal Gill 3 inch Mega Bass Spark Shad. Six of them to a pack. Is here my uh, last swim baits, last things I got in the inbox, and I'm gonna just throw in some other swim baits at the end here, just to talk about them and show off some other colors. I messed up because I left some of them over there that I'd like to show, but these here are. I'm not gonna show them. That's fine. These here are. Guggen Bait Saucy Swimmers or Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmers. These things are pretty sweet. I think they may have changed the formula on them because these ones here that I got a couple of months ago are significantly softer. But uh, 3.3 inches. Good little swim bait. Wonderful sauce. Wonderful scent to them. And uh, caught some nice fish on them. I caught my PB non guided red drum on this one here. Well, not on this one, but on one like this. And uh, this here is the electric shad. And uh, this one here is the goby color. I like them. They're right nice. Take it back in. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up. These are the newest swim baits I've gotten. I've got some more other use swim baits. I've got some uh, another good swim bait I like and I'm going to shout out is the uh, really like the Reaction Innovations Little Dipper for a finesse swim bait. It's small, skinny profile, and it's a really tough bait. So just the tail of it. So the body's just kind of rolling, wobbling side to side. But the very back section of it, like the back, 
three quarters to half an inch is just going D, but the front of it's just kind of twisting side to side. It's a really nice bait looking bait too. I don't have them with me, but uh, anyhow, thank y'all for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you like this new point of view chest cam and uh, see y'all next time.